My name is Dick Lehill. My name for the record is Clifford Argent. My name for the record is Vince Sorry. My name is Mark Eels. My name is Henton Jarback. My name is Jimmy Swan. Two Commander, one hour alike. for the Rhodesian Light Infantry, not for, uh, uh, ex um, for excitement, but for what I, my political beliefs. I believe that what we fought for was the, uh, the Western system of justice and uh, honesty and decency. My name for the record is Bruce McGregor. I thought that it would be a just cause and that's why I went up to fight, uh, to fight with them. Um, and notwithstanding the fact that I was already in trouble in the South African Army, uh, which galvanized my decision to go and, go and put my lot in with Rhodesia, I believe that that was still the right decision and a lot of other people thought the same way. How much understanding did I have of the war? Well, um, a very good understanding, I think. And um, it didn't take any person too long to understand that um, ours was uh, a futile war because whilst we were beating the enemy militarily, politically, um, we had already been consigned to the junk heap and I think that that is one of the biggest tragedies of Africa and uh, Britain and her, and her allies have a lot to answer for because once they had consigned Rhodesia to the scrap heap um, they never helped afterwards and when Mugabe came in he proceeded to ruin the country and bring it to its knees and um, uh, Britain and her allies did nothing to to stop that from happening. What or who did I think I was fighting against? Without a doubt, it had to be that I was fighting against communism, thinly disguised as black nationalism. I was serving our lives when we were caught in ambush, and my, my mate who killed, one was killed instantly, the other guy who got a couple of bullets in his chest, and, his, and he died a few minutes later. I tried to call for help on the radio. The, the signal man was wounded in the arm. I managed to get through, and we were caught in a crossfire for three quarters of an hour. And then afterwards, we got it, the choppers came in with support group, and we managed to get out just luckily. that um, sticks out to me was um, the early morning 
call when we had to go out on fire force when that siren went and your whole body just shook and thought here we go and that was it it was just one of those moments when it was just frightening ready to go the experience that sticks out the most for me is hearing the sirens go off at fire force air base all the boys running to the helicopters and us heading out for battle with whatever was being seen. Uh, we came back from patrol and I was sitting in the toilet. And we got, and these guys, these, the gooks came and attacked us with their mortars. The toilet was blown apart and I was just sitting there, my pants down like this, as you know, and uh, nothing else. And I, my ear was bleeding like this, you know, because of a shock. Well, it was quite funny, uh, but anyway, everybody, we laughed about it afterwards. The funniest thing I saw while serving with the commando was um, watching two fellows fight over a two-week-old hamburger and then watching them eat it. <laughs> I find sometimes that it's hard to look at uh, the teenagers of today, um, of the age of 18, even 21, 22 year olds. I think they're very immature, but then I have to accept that they did not have to do what I had to do at the same age. Um, I think that uh, serving in Rhodesia for me was an honor. I think that um, we all did what we had to do. We all believed in what we had to do and we came from all walks of life and all countries around the globe and we made a stand where the rest of the world wouldn't and I am proud of having served in Rhodesia. Thank you. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them, lest we forget.